Hello, my name is Jackie Carroll, the voice of billiards, here with Sneaky Pete Mafia TV, and introducing you to Steven, the owner of Wheat State Billiards Custom Cues, who has just come out with a brand new carbon fiber shaft that really can compete with the big dogs. Welcome, Steven. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Tell us about yourself, how you got started, what made you get into making carbon fiber shafts? It really all started because I'm a gear nerd. I mean, I started off just doing repair work for people, um, for myself a lot. I mean, okay. I, think I, was my, I think I was my first 50 customers. Uh, I didn't make any money <laughs> off of myself. Uh, but that's kind of how it all started. And then I started building um, wood shafts for people oh. um, and that's when I really got into carbon fiber shafts you know um, they've been out for a while but uh it was they were new to me and uh, I just saw a big hole in the market I shot with a lot of the carbon fiber shafts and um, I felt like they're all so different but yet so similar I think you can attest to that I mean you've probably shot with a handful of them and so, like they all have a different hit, but they all are really good in their own way. Um, yeah, I agree with you. And it was like, in my opinion, um, most of the major companies out there, I felt like they were doing one of two things. They were either sacrificing feel for the, to get super, super low deflection, or they were sacrificing that super, super low deflection in order to make a shaft that still feels good. And I thought to myself, why don't I build something that doesn't make that compromise? And here we are. That's awesome. You have a really technical background too. What was it that you did before this? I went to school for industrial automation machine maintenance. So basically I was a maintenance electrician, maintenance mechanic um, at, a, at a very large aircraft company for a few years. And then I transitioned to another large company as a, as a maintenance technic technician, rather, sorry. Um, yeah, basically just fixing all sorts of various equipment, machines, troubleshooting problems, building things, fixing things. And uh, I'm actually working on um, my uh, engineering degree that relates to the field that I study, which is mechatronics, which is uh, it's kind of a combination engineering degree of mechanical, electrical, and uh, robotics. So that's kind of what I'm working on now. But yeah, I kind of have a background in, I guess, tinkering. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I know you're super motivated and very, like, very, your customer service is, like, really amazing and excellent. I can tell that you really do care and you put, like, everything into what you're doing and making sure that people are happy and it sounds like you've had a ton of success so far. Um, you were mentioning to me when I talked to you before um, that you were at a trade show and different people could try out your cue. Was that the first time that, that you, you know, released it? Was that the, well, the trade show? The, the way that it started with the carbon fiber shafts in terms of, you know, let's skip all the research and development. You know, I've got a handful of shafts, you know, ready to go. I don't know if they're any good. Um, cause I, you know, I suck at pool, so I have no idea if they're any good. Um, you don't so I, suck. <laughs> I reached out to some buddies of mine who are, are very good. I'm not going to name any names, but some very high level players in the game that most people are going to know some real big names. Sure. And, uh, I sent, um, uh, a couple of my prototypes actually to the Derby city classic last year. And, um, with how crazy it was, I wasn't able to get a ton of feedback on that just because of how busy the event was. But mm -hmm. um, I actually sent my personal shaft that you know I finished for myself um, to the WSPA last year in Wisconsin um, with Nate Mendeham, who runs the Cue It Up Billiards podcast. And yeah, he had a booth set up there with my shaft. Um, the Jacoby Black, I believe, the OB Fusion, and a few of the other, I think probably the McDermott uh, Defy, and I think a few mm -hmm. other uh, various carbon fiber shafts, and 
And yeah, from what I was told, I think he said during the course of the week, about 800 people came up and tried the shafts and, and over 600 of them preferred mine. So that wow. was kind of that was yeah it was crazy like, super impressive and so he had them all side by side even huh just yeah, all at the same booth that's that's an awesome yeah. awesome test yeah so, i mean i love mine <laughs> Menham, he has done so much for me you know and in terms of helping me you know he's got a big audience a big following and he's a great guy so thank you nate that's awesome. So um, you also offer like just dis different customizations um, that it makes you also makes you stand out um, as far as would you want to talk a little bit about that, about the joints and the tips and the different things that you offer engraving? Sure. Yeah. Um, one of the things that make mine stand out, you know, aside from playability, first and foremost, that's the goal, right? I mean, making the best playable shaft out there, mm -hmm. um, you know, even if it looks bad, but you know, let's just not make it look bad and also play really good. So, yeah, um, I do something unique. Um, I offer um, uh, the the options are almost endless, really. I mean, um, pretty much every one that I build for a customer is a one of one. You know what I mean? Um, because I build every single one by hand for your exact cue. So no one else in the world is going to have the exact same shaft that you have because I offer um, you know, three different ferrule colors, um, white, black, or clear. And that's just on the play shafts. On the brake shafts, you can get uh, brown, black, or clear, or even G10, which is kind of a green color. In fact, looks like that. <laughs> oh. It's kind of like cool. a lime green color. Cool. I haven't seen that before. Uh, and then, you know, any tip you want, um, I have like, about 10 different colors for different tip pads if people want tip pads between the ferrule and the tip and then uh, for the collar work i can either do black or clear which i did a clear one on yours which is really really unique and mm -hmm. i think it's really cool i hope you like it i do i really like it um it's really neat how you can see like i can see pen, it on there actually, yeah can you kind of see it oh i can definitely if, see it with it's the just, light yeah, it's yeah hard so like I don't know if it shows up how well it shows up here but especially if there's light behind it you can see how yeah it shows the joint which is really neat I love it it matches the clear mm -hmm. absolutely clear up here it's hard to see on this on the zoom but yeah it is and then yeah like you mentioned before um I I laser engrave every single one you know with my you know, brand and uh, the name of the shaft, which is the play shafts I call the Onyx, the Wheat State Onyx. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brake shafts are the Wheat State Supernova. So. And, and you they, make them in, in all sizes, all different millimeters, like whereas some of the other, you know, other ones, yeah. they don't, they only offer one or two options too, right? Yeah, well, right now I'm doing either 11.75 millimeter, uh, a 12.4 or a uh, 12.8 slash 12.9 um, for the brake shafts um, uh -huh. and jump shafts as well. But I do have, sorry, my dog is going crazy down here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm neglecting her. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do actually have some, uh, I have an order going right now with a company that I've been working closely with for the past few months um, to get my very own blanks made. So right now, any custom cue maker on the planet you know, even most of the big guys, what happens is they'll start off and they'll buy, you know, a carbon fiber blank that's just a hollow tube. It's already pretty tapered, essentially. You know, okay. You to build it and fill it with, you know, your proprietary materials or whatever, you know, however you are going to build it on the inside. And I'm not going right. to tell you how I do it. Um, sure. That's <laughs> that my secret. It's a secret, uh, yeah. It took me a ton of time, a ton of trial, and a ton of error. So I can't give that away, at least not for anything less than like a million. Um, <laughs> <talk later. laughs> but so basically, you know, that's what most, you know, that's how it all starts. You know, you start with a carbon fiber blank and then, uh, you know, you go from there. But uh, here pretty soon, I spent the last month or two, um, you know, I've been very happy with my blanks um, so far. and all of my customers have, have been as well, but I think that I came up with a better design 
Um, so I'm having this company that I've been working closely with for a while now. I've been spending the last month or two drawing up a design. Um, so before long, me and one other guy are going to be the only two people on the planet that have these exact, these specific blanks that, that I came up with a design for me and him work closely on. So that's going to be really exciting because I think the taper that I came up with and uh, just the different options I'll be able to do with it is going to be really, really good. And I think people are going to love it. Wow, that is exciting. And you've gotten a lot of great feedback also. Um, do, you, do you have any of those quotes like with you that you could read? Some of them were, <laughs> were, they're, they're great. Like, <laughs> well, a, lot of the, a lot of the quotes, they, they really are good. And that, that is such a big part of why I do it. I mean, you know, every time I, I mail out a shaft, you know, I put a note in there and, and I just thank them for the order, you know, and I tell them, hey, please just, you know, let me know what you think of the shaft, good, bad, or indifferent. I, you know, I want to know because I'm a perfectionist. You know, yeah. if there's anything wrong with it, I'm going to make another prototype, you know, like right. that, that's just how I am. Um, so. Educate us on like the different options for carbon fiber. Like what are the different ways that they are made and like what are some of the, um, techniques or the you know the possibilities of what they could be maybe filled with or just anything. yeah I, I don't really want to get a bounty on my head um by giving away some of the other guys secrets um <laughs> i'm certainly not giving away mine uh but sure. yeah, you know um most of them are filled with foam you know various types of foams um but there's obviously other things inside of there um you know um a lot of some companies use a wood core um, is as well as foam. Um, yeah, uh, it's kind of a hard, hard question to answer, sort of. Or, well, we'll put it this I mean, way: I can <laughs> tell you that mine, after tons and tons of trial and error, and uh, research and development, and everything else, mine have actually eight different things inside of the shafts at various points inside of the shaft, specifically at those points to give it the exact hit and feel that I was looking for. So cool. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. It's, and I mean, it, it speaks volumes to people that, that the feedback that you've gotten already and um, from such a huge range of, of uh, players too. And a lot of top players, it sounds like also, you know, um, yeah, Roddy, Roddy Moore shoots is one. Cool. That's impressive. That's super impressive. Yeah. Um, and do you, do you have some of those comments were just so like, yeah. great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to get back to that. So, so long story short, I don't want to get into all the comments because sure. there, there's so many of them, but. Do you, you know, post them anywhere? Like, I mean, is there some place that, that you, do you have a blog or anything that you. No, you know, maybe I should because. Or a Facebook be page maybe. No, you know what, maybe I could create like a fan page for stuff like that. Um, but right now it's just in some group chats that I, ha that I have created um, for certain customers, you know, because I still am, you know, relatively new to the game. You know, I'm not a real big name yet. So, of course, there's going to be certain people out there that, you know, they don't want to quite pull the trigger, you know, on something until they get a chance to try it out, you know, which I totally understand. So, in those circumstances, what I've done is, you know, I've just made a group chat, you know, in Facebook Messenger with just five or 10 random customers, you know, that I've met throughout the country, you know, no one that I've met personally. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week, there was a pretty funny exchange. There was a guy that was debating on whether or not he should buy one of my shafts. So I told him, hey, buddy, you know, I'll create this group chat, you know, so you can get some feedback from other people. <laughs> and uh, everyone was going crazy in there. And it was so funny. Long story short, he bought, he bought one. In fact, I think he bought two. Um, <laughs> but uh, there was one comment that was really funny. So one of the big things that they were all talking about was just the fact that, that is, there's no other carbon fiber shaft out there that can, that can beat mine for the price. You just simply cannot beat what I'm doing for the price. Not, not only that, the customer service, you can't beat it. And uh, that's what one guy was mentioning. And mm -hmm. another guy said that he couldn't agree more. Um, the feel, the sound and the action you can get, get out of the shaft is amazing. 
it's like knowing that you have the biggest dick in the room and everybody else knows it too. <laughs> That's now, great. <laughs> I, I don't know if I built my shaft as good as I did his because I still feel average. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> so are there, uh, so what is, you mentioned, um, it was, so what's the price point that you have these at right now? So, so right now I'm selling them uh, 360 shipped or uh, 370 rather if they want a tip upgrade um, from what I'm putting on there now. But mm -hmm. I think I might bump that up soon, um, just a little bit. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to go ever going to go above 400. I might just make it a flat 375 because I am in some talks right now with some some tip companies that mm -hmm. uh, that are wanting to potentially sponsor me in terms of you know me putting their tips on all of my shafts and uh with shipping costs having gone up both ways um yeah you know i'm i'm really almost not paying myself hardly anything for labor you know mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of the comments i get from these guys is if you charge 600 dollars, i'd still i'd still buy it over anything else in the market and that speaks so you know that speaks volumes to me yeah. you know that's that just makes me feel really proud. So, but no, I'm not going to charge 600. Um, I think I'm, uh, I might go to like a flat rate, 375 shipped anywhere, you know, um, with the tips that I, that I'm, and I, I can't really mention the name of the company yet because we haven't finalized the details, but so far I've been playing with the tip, um, that I'm thinking about using the company for, and the mm -hmm. tips are fantastic. They may be the, the best tips I've ever used. So awesome exciting things coming. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Very cool. So do you recommend any particular sh types of test shots that you recommend? Um, like, in, you know, in, terms, in terms of what, like testing deflection or just, uh, yeah. Test, you know, there's some standard ones. Um, you take two balls, mm -hmm. they're diamond, you know, well, three balls rather. Yeah. Separate them just the tiniest little bit, pull the middle one back down. Mm -hmm. Cue ball, you know, about two diamonds up or, or whatever, just as long as it's dead center. And then you aim dead center between those two balls mm -hmm. with center push or just center ball. And then once you have that lined up, you literally just use parallel English. So, you know, you shift the entire cue, you know, the, the tip and the butt, left or right, whichever you're more comfortable with. And then you shoot. And that, you know, you need to do it at kind of medium firm speed or mm -hmm. you're going to get work. Uh, or you're going to get a mass save, rather. So, right. That's a that's a great that's a great test for deflection for sure. Mine are very very low deflection, but I think that what I have achieved is not only one of the lowest, if not the lowest deflection shaft out there, but I think it's by far the best feeling shaft out there. And I think that's really important to a lot of people. It's important to myself. Um, and that's one thing I noticed, like I said earlier, um, with some of the carbon fiber shafts that I shot with um, before mm -hmm. I started building my own, you know, they shoot great. You know, some of them shot fantastic, you know, super low deflection, but I just felt like it was just, they didn't, they didn't feel great, you know, they mm -hmm. just didn't have that really good feel and that feedback that you you really get you know from a you know a traditional wood shaft you know especially when you're really stroking the ball and you right. get that feedback all the way in your grip hand you know right the way yeah. it resonates really does make a big difference absolutely yeah. it really does yeah and I think that's a big thing to a lot of players and like I said some of the carbon fiber shafts out there I think they lose that mm -hmm. yeah I agree and you're in Kansas City correct is that no not Kansas City I'm actually I'm in Butler County, Kansas. Um, what is that? You said there was like a like a sound test. How Are about um, I'm gonna see what they sound like. Um, hey, don't tell me which is which. I'm gonna turn around. I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do the drop test. Yeah, the drop test. Here's Q one. Yeah, that's not mine. <laughs> 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 And you're right, and this is yours. All right, that's interesting how different they can be. Like one sounds very hollow, one sounds not hollow. Yeah. And wow. what's 
thing is that mine is no more, I guess, full than the other one. It's just, you know, the materials that I put inside of mine, you know, add to that sound and that feel, which is very, very important. Like I said, from the very beginning, when I first started this, I had a goal in mind. You know, I knew what I wanted to accomplish in terms of, you know, obviously, deflection is what I was going for, you know, just like everyone else. You want low deflection, you know, mm -hmm. as low a deflection as you can get. But I also wanted to build something that felt fantastic, sounded fantastic, and also played great. And like you said, resonates really well in your hand. And let me tell you, that was not easy. Not at all. I bet. To, to get to. But I really do feel that I've gotten there um with with my current design but i can tell you it is disheartening building probably a dozen and a half prototypes and most mm -hmm. of them are just sitting over there in the trash pile now <laughs> wow that's great though you've done i mean you've done your research and had tons of people test it and i'm really impressed with mine i'm super excited about playing with it i have a big match coming up a uh, live stream match um here in a couple of weeks and I'm going to use it. I'm super excited. I'm excited. It fits on my, uh, my Jed Fuller Q, which I, which I love. It has a lot of sentimental value also. And, um, it's, it's really great. So, so what's the name of your website so people could find you? Well, I don't, I don't currently have a website right now. I'm just doing the Facebook thing, which is, uh, you know, you just find me at Wheat State Custom Q and Repair and, you know, here's the logo. Perfect. On these, on these two beautiful t-shirts. Um, you can also get these. I'm selling these. I've got a ton of them, you know, ready to go. So perfect. Um, that's great. Anything else that you want you wanted to add? Well, I want to ask, what do you what do you think of yours since I bet for yours? And for and for two, you know, I'm really glad. I'm happy that I got your Judd back in service. So I'm glad I was able to get that going for you. Me too. Me too. It means a lot to me. Um he, he passed away and he was such an amazing guy and an amazing cue maker. Um, and uh, it's really super exciting to play, play with that again. Um, I really do like my, a lot. Like I really do. It's really a solid hit and you get a ton of action. Um, I'm super impressed with it and I'm looking forward to playing with it even more. Um, so I'm just, I'm totally psyched and I'm yeah, excited for you too. Well, thank Very you. I, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. I mean, I'm excited. It's, you know, it's all good. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I always wanted this to happen. And, you know, once I got started with this venture, you know, I just, just me being me, you know, I'm a perfectionist, you know, mm -hmm. and I, not, I can't, there are nights where I won't be able to sleep because I, I can't shut my brain off thinking about these things right here and building these things, you know, and, um, just getting them as perfect as I can for the customers, you know, cause that's, that means everything, you know, word of mouth can make or break a small company. And, uh, you know, I think my customer service is top notch and, and my product speaks for itself, but, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been a wild ride so far and I never expected, well, you know, it, how it happened. Um, I think two or three batches ago, cause I built them in batches now and two or three batches ago, um, I finished the batch and it was oh, a long, long, tiring week of 18 hour days, five, five days in a row to, to get this batch finished. Um, and the only reason I did that is because, you know, I gave, I gave these customers a timeline and this is right when this COVID-19 outbreak hit. So all of a sudden, all of my orders that I had placed to get these customers there, you know, all the parts that I needed to build these shafts for these customers, you know, they're just right weeks longer than expected. So I finally yeah. get everything in and, you know, I don't, I, I think people understand or understood what was going on, but still me being me, I'm like, I'm going to do my best to get you guys these shafts as fast as I can, you know, without sacrificing any sort of quality. So a lot of long nights that week. And, uh, the night that I finally finished them all, um, I took some, I took some really cool photos of them and I posted them to my page, you know, with a little post, you know, you know, explaining, you know, what happened and, 
and thanking the customers, you know, uh, for being patient, you know, so I really appreciate that. And uh, I passed out. I, I posted that and I immediately like <laughs> my phone down and went to bed. This was like 6 p.m. I was so exhausted. And uh, I think I woke up at like seven in the morning the next day, you know, I woke up to over 70 messages on my <laughs> business page, like people wanting to buy shafts and, and, and then all of a sudden Garrett's hitting me up and all these other people, these big names and that I never thought they would know who I was, you know, and they're, it's just like literally overnight, you know, it, it blew up and it's, it's taken off like crazy and I'm, I'm excited, but that's why I say I'm scared too, because it's like, I went to bed one night normal and I woke up and I don't get it. I don't have time to play pool anymore. <laughs> right. That's a, that's a good problem to have. It's yeah. so As of this badge, um, I have sold shafts to people that have owned every single carbon fiber shaft out there in terms of the major manufacturers. So now what I mean by that is I've had people switch from every single carbon fiber shaft out there to mine now. The wow. last one. So yeah, people yeah. have literally gotten rid of their old carbon fiber shaft and, and are replacing it with yours, which is super amazing. And these companies, a lot of them are really big companies too. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like all your hard work is paying off and uh, congratulations on that. Like you, you deserve it. Good person and you're really dedicated <laughs> and I can tell in, it's I, I love mine so very very excited for you thank you very much I appreciate it my name is Jackie Carroll with Sneaky Pete Mafia TV thank you Stephen best of luck to you and talk to you next time thanks